Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to show you how you can automate uh, control, MIDI control over the Vocal Transformer plugin. So you can actually control through automation uh, what notes are played. So um, I've just put some loops together, courtesy of like Apple Loops. Um, I'll just shrink this down a bit and uh, play what I've got there. Baby, come on. Baby, come on. Don't you care? Oh, hold on a second. I think I'm actually playing that. Let me just turn off uh, we'll turn off uh, automation reading. So we'll just go to, um, oh, sorry, the power button. Okay, turn that off. So this is how it is at the moment. Baby, come on. Baby, come on. Don't you care? Don't you know? It's true. So what you do is you get your vocal transformer plug-in, um, put it on the insert of the vocal track, uh, and use monophonic vocals. Don't use um, vocals with lots of additional backing vocals and harmonies, as I don't think it'll work very well uh, that way. Uh, so put it in and then um, switch it on, of course. So you power it up. We'll put the uh, read on here. And if I go automation, you can see what I've done. Um, you'll have to expand it a bit to, to see it more clearly. So I'll just drop it down. And you'll see that I've put down, actually, I've got to change that bit there, make that. Let me see. Yep, that's all right. Uh, so you can see I've put the nodes in there uh, of under the syllables of each word. I put what notes I want the vocal transformer to play. Uh, see, previously uh, in uh, Logic, the earlier versions, um, there was a way of controlling the pitch, like the notes on vocal transform by going into the Logic environment and then uh, setting up um, transformers and objects and uh, there's a whole procedure I found on the internet but it, it didn't work when I tried and I think uh, the latter uh, logic versions unfortunately uh, I couldn't find a way to uh, in real time um, control the pitch um, of vocal transformer so but it, but you can do it through automation so at least it's a little bit more laborious but at least this way if you want to get that effect that t-pain effect um, you can do it, but you've just got to draw it in like this. So I've entered the notes. You've got to make sure you're on Robotize, this control here, um, as uh, as otherwise I don't think it'll work. And make sure you just go for those settings. 100% effect on uh, Vocal Transformer. And now if I play it, uh, you'll see instead of, the, uh, instead of uh, the melody being what you heard originally, we've now changed it to whatever notes we, we so desire. Baby, come on. Baby, come on. Don't you care. Don't you know it's true? I'll just play baby, that again. Come on, baby, come on. Don't you care? Don't you know it's true? And you baby, know, you can change it to whatever you want. You know, we, we could go up to G here, for exam example. So if I go up to G, it's a little bit fiddly, but, you, but nevertheless, it, it is quite, quite doable. And we'll just go up to, if I can get that note. Actually, let's um, expand that a bit. And I just move that along and bring that up to say G. So when it gets fiddly, you just got to expand it out so you get a, a um, better view. And I'll make that F, for example. Just make out notes here. So no real rhyme or reason uh, for these notes. So we'll go F. And so now I've, I've altered that um, that note that uh, this will come on. So um, that'll be G. So let's watch this control here, the pitch, and we'll see um, how we go. Baby, come on. Baby, come on. Don't you care? Don't you know? It's true. So there you go. That's how you can uh, use the vocal transformer and um, and change the um, change the pitch of the notes to whatever you like. So if you've got a melody, a vocal melody, and you want to put your own melody but keep the vocal, by using vocal transformer going and going into automation, you can... Uh, change the melody um, and uh, get that T-Pain effect if that is what you want. So there you go. That's um, controlling the MIDI for Vocal Transformer through automation.